who who else saw religious freedom under attack firsthand? Anybody else? Uh, I'm sorry, is it Larissa? Larissa yeah. Where are you from, Larissa? Russia. From Russia. Actually, from Belarus. Okay. And uh, I mean, in Russia, all religions were restricted, and uh, we couldn't practice any religions. Uh, people was. Uh, punished uh, if they did, and uh, like even in big city like Minsk where I come from, we didn't have synagogue if you want to practice Judaism. I mean, uh, if somebody find out you go to some meetings with some people and talk about religion, you will be punished at your work, and I have some uh, examples when it's happened at my husband's work. Uh, some guy want to do some religious uh, services for his child, and he was really punished. How do you mean punished? I mean, they almost kick him out from work, which was very rare in Russia. They normally keep people working until you do something very wrong. And this is what happened to him. They make big meetings and kind of shame him, and it was really big quarrel about it. Alexei, you were from the Soviet yeah. Union. Yes, from, from Russia itself. And um, the brutality of the communist regime, especially in the time of the purges of Stalin, is very difficult to comprehend. Uh, can you imagine uh, destroying 20 million of your own people? Um, it's very, very difficult. And uh, I can give you an example, although from a later time period in um, the Russian state, but in um, 1985, one of my very good friends who I think is my spiritual leader from Florida, he brought um, three ex-convicts from the USSR to the US and they met with President Reagan. Now those uh, three men were um, preachers at churches. One was a preacher at a Russian Orthodox Church, another was a Jewish um, priest, and the third was a Protestant. And um, so President Reagan asked, uh, for how long have you been imprisoned? And um, the Protestant priest said, 14 years. Uh, the American president asked, well, why did you go to prison? What have you committed? He said, I was a priest. And the US president could not understand why he was in prison. So he asked again, why did you go to prison? And uh, the man replied again, because I was a pri priest. And uh, it was not until the third time that Reagan asked the question that he finally understood that, you know, he went to prison only because he was a priest. You, um, you understand um, food rationing Correct. better than most, at least most Americans. Explain. Well, uh, food shortages were always common in uh, Russia and the f f former USSR, uh, especially um, at times of crises, for example, uh, late 1980s and early 1990s. Uh, basically, families would receive um, cards that would be used to um, allow them to purchase various products. Uh, each member of the family got their cards and uh, we, together with my parents, would have to go to the stores and wait in lines until we would be able to get the products which uh, would have been authorized by those cards. Now, I remember we would get um, 200 grams of sausage per month per one member of family. So for the four of us, uh, which would have been myself, my two-year-old sister, and my parents, it would have been um, you know, uh, 200 times four grams of sausage. So you were just rich in sausage. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but more than that, um, these difficulties that we talk about, uh, the difficulties that maybe my generation and the generation of even my parents experienced uh, are, are very different from um, the time of the Stalin's purges when people were um, shot left and right. Uh, what we would uh, encounter most um, would be restrictions in the form of expression, uh, invasions of privacy, as you had mentioned. For example, 
in uh, 1983, my dad was a fourth year student at the Ural State University uh, School of Journalism. And he and uh, two of his friends uh, published a newspaper and they called the newspaper The Edge. Uh, now, The Edge was a very famous uh, anti-communist newspaper um, and magazine uh, published uh, in the world uh, much earlier. And also what they did was that they um, inverted uh, the headline, so it was The Edge Upside Down. And uh, altogether, because of that, um, they instituted disciplinary hearings, um, the subject of which was my father and his three uh, co-writers, to expel them from uh, the Komsomol and to expel them essentially from the university, which would immediately end their aspirations and their careers.